Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is uh, Ed Fife from Dallas, Texas. And I uh, appreciate being on the Changing Times radio tonight. I'm going to be a guest on the program. And uh, I have, a <clears throat> have my own program on uh, Talk Shoe Radio. <clears throat> I've been on there for about four years now. Uh, teaching um, the organic law of this nation um, and uh, diverting our eyes away from the system which we have uh, been dealing with for a long time and have been paying, as far as I'm concerned, too much attention to. And uh, so that's what I teach on my program. And um, I've been doing this for... Oh, ever since 1979, uh, in earnest, probably more like 1980 is when I really got into it strongly and have been doing um, court work uh, out the kazoo uh, all that time. Uh, I've done, I've taken several uh, law courses and so on and so forth to learn uh, the, what I've learned so far most of which, I will say and add, uh, did not really carry me to where I am now. It wasn't until I um, really got to the point to where I just give up on listening to everybody else and decided that, I, that it would be best if I do my own research to find out really what was the truth about all of this. And this is where I've come to. And so, therefore, we're going to talk about that on these Changing Times radio tonight. And uh, if there's anybody, uh, Patty or Tammy, if you have any questions uh, that you want to point toward me specifically uh, about my background or anything that I teach, well, go ahead and shoot. <laughs> How do they contact you if they want to contact you um, back channel? I know you had introduced your your talk show and everything else. How, how do the listeners contact you? Okay. Uh, I'm on every Wednesday night uh, for the most part um, at 9 o'clock Eastern, uh, 8 o'clock Central, and so on and so forth. And um, the name of the program is uh, Liberty, Your Inheritance. And the uh, caller ID on the program is 90413. That's 9413. And uh, you can just put that in the search engine at the top, uh, left, top right-hand corner, and it will take you right to my icon, which you click on, and it takes you right to my program and where all my archives are and all that. And they, all of my programs have been archived the past four years. Um, and so uh, if you want to learn more about this, we've talked about it in very much depth. And uh, matter of fact, the last program I had last when, this past Wednesday, uh, we really uh, got into it heavy. And uh, so... About the past, I would say, maybe seven or eight, maybe ten programs, uh, we've really uh, got into the, uh, there's two parts, actually, to, the, to, this, uh, to my teaching, and that is I teach what the organic law is and, what, uh, and, and how the framers set up the original house, and that's the way I put it. They set up the original house and uh, how the uh, attorneys or the, or the foreign bar uh, has created another house, new house, inside of the house that was originally created. And so the past about 10 shows, uh, I've really been um, hammering heavy on the part about uh, how that house was created by the by the uh, foreign bar, and uh, it's important for us to understand that part because if you don't understand it, the history of it, uh, you you can't you have to use that in order to along with the uh, original uh, intent of the framers, the way they created the, the first house, 
you've got to understand how that house was created because you have to extract yourself away from or out of that house uh, in, and then uh, make claim to uh, the original house uh, in order to um, extract yourself completely out of the system. Okay, and that's, that's what I teach. And what is the original house? Well, the original house is the one that the framers uh, of the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence and all, when they came to this country from England and Scotland, there was a lot of Scottish people in this country. Uh, Thomas Jefferson was a Scotsman. Um, they, uh, when they came to this country, they uh, knew where they had been and they knew uh, where they wanted to go uh, for the most part. Now, when they first created the original um, Articles Confederation, of course, uh, they left out a lot of the pertinent information that are pertinent, uh, uh, how would I say, the pertinent setup, I guess, uh, the way they, the way it should have been set up in our government. And so they had to, uh, shortly down the road, they found out that they left things out that were very vital to running the country under a republic and they uh, uh, made the republic more perfect by creating the, the 1789 Constitution of the United States. And they corrected those uh, places where they made those mistakes in the Article of Confederation. Now, the Article of Confederation still is in full force and effect where it hasn't been changed and can be referred to and used, uh, but uh, it it's like anything else. Uh, the Constitution is sort of like similar, not the same exactly, but it's similar to an amendment. And it amended the Articles of Confederation uh, where it uh, was failing. And uh, some of the places where it was failing was on the money issue, uh, the way they set up the Continental Congress. It was uh, not uh, enough. It was not complete enough to uh, operate properly for the country and so on and so forth. And, but they um, didn't completely change the whole thing. They just changed those places where it needed uh, some tweaking, you know. Right, in, as, in per, huh? right. As, as per market conditions. It was a corporation. Those were articles of incorporation. Yeah, basically, they were. But, but you know, right. the, the, the And so each amendment, each time that they entered a new article, it allowed the corporation to... Uh, derive revenue and proceeds from each of those articles of incorporation. So it's it's more like an industrializing corporation through the articles of confederation, the constitutions, various constitutions and various other articles of incorporation. It allowed the corporation or incorporated state. Confederacy defined, of course, in Black's Law Dictionary maintains that it's a criminal enterprise. And so all of this time, as it moves along through articles of incorporation, it's just only moving according to market conditions. But what is the market? Are you asking is a question? It, Are you Right. Is, what is the what is the market? What is it referring to when it maintains market conditions? Uh you talking about the Articles of Confederation? Well, all of it, all of the articles of incorporation, they just change faces, and, and but they're still the same incorporated state, the same company. Yeah, and so yeah. when when yeah. these adapt as per market condition, they're, the adaptation is referring to human beings as product of that corporation. Well, it it they were it was when. The uh, each one of the thirteen colonies were incorporated, or they yeah they had incorporation from the uh, British Crown. Uh, but if you go back to history, you'll find that as time went on, uh, one by one, each one of the um, uh, uh, colonies um, were doing things that the British King didn't like, and so he jerked their charters, and so eventually. Uh, all the charters were jerked, and that's when, uh, of course, um, the framers recognized that they needed to do a complete separation from the from the British Crown, and so there was no longer any 
uh, connection to the British Crown uh, corporately anymore once they um, set up the Artists' Confederation and also uh, the Constitution, they completely separated from the Declaration of Independence was the absolute separation. And after the war, of course, um, there were uh, hostilities still still standing between England and, and the United States, and uh, England uh, suggested, it was a suggestion, that they make treaty to make... Uh, uh, make uh, amends uh, so that they could have commerce between them because England was so small they realized that America they needed to have trade with America and so they suggested that they do a treaty and in fact uh, the treaty of 1781 or I can't remember the exact date 1787 whenever it was uh, they um, uh, um, the British king or it says his Majesty actually uh, gave over all of its interests in the land of America in that treaty. In, in the real estate, which refers to human beings, when you go to the definition of in Black's Law Dictionary. And what had happened was England didn't give that. Secession isn't to go away from. Secession is to take over the estates of and the last name Washington for example means the estate of a man named Wassow. Now Wassow stems of course from vassal. Uh, when, you're, when you're in the etymology of these words, the vassal's estates were all taken over by Congress on um, the House of Representatives. Well, and the these state, estates refer to the human beings, of course, being real estate. Yeah, there well, was no land exchange. The letters patent stemming from the original charters, when they had came upon or taken over the landed estates, which is what the word colony means, when they had taken those over, they were taking those over by letters patent. Now, what is patent does not refer to land, it refers to real estate, human beings. And these letters are letters, they're descriptions, meaning the last names of individuals, such as Eric's son, or Law's son, or Smith, referring to a blacksmith or a silversmith. These descriptions allow letters patent upon their original charters. Well, uh, the, the I don't know a whole lot about all that. All, the only only thing that I know is that they did it right. Everything was done right. I've done the research on the history of it, and they did the best they could possibly do at the time, knowing... Uh, well, it starts lot, out with human out trafficking. If you put a letter patent on a human being, and then you traffic that being and call it a country or a ground or a landmass... That's always human trafficking by a corporate entity. Or well, a they, didn't body. Do that. they didn't do that in the very beginning. In the very beginning, the first house that I'm talking about that was created by them, everyone was following the Anglo-Saxon uh, common law. Uh, and you can go back and read you know, Cooley or any of the, the major writers of that time. Uh, that they they followed not they didn't follow Cooley but they followed uh, other people prior to uh, Blackstones and so on and so forth uh, to set up this republic. And what does uh, a republic mean? What is a republic? Well, basically, the republic is a system of government whereby every man uh, is equal. In value, I mean, I mean, no, no, I shouldn't say in value. He's equal in status under the law. <clears throat> and right, it says that in the 1929 Geneva Convention, wherein human beings are held as human are uh, prisoners of war because the corporation went bankrupt in 33, and it's still.